day. Okay, here's what I want to do though as I intro this video. So we know that she's looking pretty bread. But I want you to look down here guys real quick as I'm brushing her. You see her udder? See her bag is starting to fill. Okay, that's a sign for calving or it's calving to come. It could still be a while. But notice here, you're starting to see the veining. When you start seeing the veining, and you start seeing or feeling that milk vein underneath her, it's a definite sign of calving. It's gonna be a busy winter. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patea are here today answering your questions and we're getting a lot of them about how to prevent mites and lice. Yep, I'm gonna tell you how. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a common question we get here on Facebook, Instagram, and here on the channel itself about lice and mites and people that have problems with them and how to prevent it. The advice I'm gonna give you is strictly from my own experience, own successes, and based upon the region in which I live. So in other words, if you live in Northern Ontario, this might not apply to you. So that's why it's important to understand your weather, your region, what happens you know, on your farm all year round. What happens in Southeast Tennessee doesn't necessarily happen in Wisconsin. You catch my drift? So let's talk about it. So here we are going into the dead of winter. We live in Southeast Tennessee. I was born and raised here in East Tennessee. All right, but you have to understand that folks that live in California, New York, South Florida, even in just in the Midwest are gonna have different situations in terms of their climate and weather. We get really cold and then we get really warm. We get a lot of rain. What does that mean? That means we don't constantly have this deep freeze. We might for a couple of days, but that's typically it. We'll typically bounce up above freezing. Okay, yesterday was 52 degrees, beautiful. So what did we do? We started cleaning out the chicken coop because that is the key prevention in order to keep yourself away or to keep at bay these issues. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the deep bedding method. That doesn't mean I don't like another blogger or YouTuber. I'm just saying I don't like that method for us here. We have been consistently doing things here with chickens, a lot of birds for several, several years. We know what works best for us. And that's why I tell you to do what works best for you. Here's what happens. You start putting all this stuff in, right? It's supposed to be layers and layers. A lot of folks use straw, okay? Straw can harbor issues inside of itself. So know that first and foremost. But what happens is, is we start packing it in and packing it in. And personally, I think we get a little bit lazy. I'm not saying you're lazy, but I can tell you from my experience that it's kind of easy to go, I'm just gonna put this out there and leave it alone. I'm not gonna worry about this till April 30th. I'm not gonna think about it. Well, guess what? You're gonna have a problem because by April 30th here, we may have bounced up one or two or three times up to 80 degrees. Things come out of the darkness. You gotta get it out. Cleaning, you must clean your coop. Now, I'm not saying 100% perfection but you do want to get in here and you want to knock down some of the cobwebs that, that have built up in, for us in the fall. We always get a lot of cobwebs in the fall. Catches things, it's kind of nice, but they needed to go. Gives you an opportunity to fix anything, add a few screws, do the things that you need to do to assist your hens and your flock, but mainly get all that junk, that funk out. Right now is January 1st, so I've just dated this video, but my point is, all the stuff that we got out and scooped and put in the tractor and just rode right over there, went right on my garden. Guess what? It's gonna be perfect for the 1st of June, when we May or 1st of June. 
that's going to sit and that's going to be right ripen my soil that's good no 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 sister now Right in here, so we scoop, 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 bed, doop, shoot, bed, doop, bed. Okay, squirrel, get it out. Then I applied a little bit of diatomaceous earth. Yes, you need to wear a mask, maybe wear some gloves, use common sense. And I added that within. I came back and I did a simple layer of straw, okay? I will come in from time to time and I will clear out the hot spots. If we, in a month or so, if we get another heat wave in February, we always do. Scoop it out again. If you let it pile up and pile up and pile up and you're building Mount Everest in here, that creates an, an incredible job for you in one day. If you stay on top of it consistently, it's not so bad. But you definitely want to get it out. You definitely want to add back some diatomaceous earth, fresh bedding, and pine shavings. Do the same with your nesting boxes. Don't be a slacker and lack on your nesting boxes because you're gonna find out real quick that's where they're harboring a lot of the problems. It's not necessarily around in the coop at first. You're gonna find it's gonna be where they roost and you're gonna find it's gonna be where they lay their eggs. Now, here is the next issue that you need to think about. Why are they getting mites to begin with? If you live in Southeast Tennessee or in a region like ours, we get a ton of rain. It's actually quite problematic at times, so we've learned to manage it. You must create a place for your hens and even your roosters to dust bathe. Yes, I said that, dust bathe. They must be able to dust bathe. They kick all that in there and all that grit and that dirt and it gets in there and it helps to prevent these types of issues, those funky mice, mice, I hope it's not mice, lice and mites on them. So here's a problem. If your coop is soaking wet and they haven't been dust bathing and they come in here and are hanging out in your 15,000 inches of whatever, you're gonna develop a problem. They bring it in first. Could be that you didn't get the problem out last year, but let's stick with the basics. You've got to work with the basics. Now, here's what I'm suggesting. Create a place for them to dust bathe. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. And I've done this before on videos. In here, I will get a large bin. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. A large little flat bin. And I would place it down into the coop. Inside there, here are the three things that I'm gonna add if you have them do it. You're gonna do sand. You're gonna add wood ash. Definitely the wood ash. And then a sprinkle of diatomaceous earth. At least you know you put that in here to give them the opportunity to dust bathe. <laughs> now, ideally, if they've got a place in the run that they dust bathe, mine love that corner back there. It's a little bit hard right now because we've had so much rain. It's drying out, so it's hard again. It's compacted. But if they have a spot that they like to dust bathe in, apply those items there also. That gives them a chance to work these items up. This is why I have a dirt floor in my barn, and I'm glad I stuck with that. It's more work on our part. But when my hens and my roosters go into my barn, guess what? It's dry. They've got their favorite areas by the gate and in the back stall. They dust bathe like crazy. I know that because I spend time with them watching their behavior. So what do I do? I make sure I add a little DE, extra DE there, maybe some wood ash there, and that will help promote good health for your chickens. That's important. We'll just hang out. It's a nice day. Now, if you develop a problem with your chicken coop or your area with lice or mites, it's probably going to be mites, you need to understand you have to immediately clean it out. You have to get the birds out, you have to get the nesting boxes out, you're going to have to take everything out and you're going to have to power wash that area greatly. Once you do that, you're going to have to treat it. Like I suggested before, diatomaceous earth is the most natural thing that you can use. Do wear a mask, use your common sense, and I would wear some gloves, no big deal, and I would use it in there once it's dry. Some folks use a lime solution. You might want to look into that. Some folks will even suggest to you poultry dust. That's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm telling you your options on what you need to do. Now, if you choose to go a non-organic route, 
meaning you use something else besides the diatomaceous earth, which by the way, should be white and food grade. You can get it in your organic gardening area or location in your like a Lowe's Home Depot. You can order it on Amazon and you don't have to use a lot. If you use something else, if you use something more chemical based, understand that you're gonna have to pull your eggs and not eat or use or sell your eggs for a certain time period. I would recommend 30 days. All right, guys, I wanna to talk to you about a final solution for your issue. If you have a bird that has a problem with mites or lice, you're going to have to treat them. You may have to treat them all. Make sure you get them dust bathing immediately. Now, a recommendation for you is to look into using ivermectin poron. Look into that. You would use a small dose behind the, the, the head and down towards the base of the neck area on your bird. Does it work? Yes. So look into it and see if it works for you. All right, guys, time to get more pine shavings. Our weather is bouncing up and down. So we're taking every opportunity to clean everything up as much as possible. While everybody's ringing in the new year and visiting Biltmore and shopping the malls, which is a great time, we'll do that soon enough because the weather is warm. You must take an opportunity to clean house. And that means your chicken coop. Hope this video helps you out. Please like and subscribe. We love you being here, guys. Hope you have a great new year. Hope you're blessed. And we will see you on the next video.